Noah and his wife were tired of being on the ark all the time. After 40 days, the rain stopped, but there was still water everywhere. God sent a wind and the water started to dry up. God remembered Noah and his family and all the animals with them. The ark came to rest on a high mountain. Noah sent out a raven to see if it was safe, but it didn't come back. He knew he couldn't stay in the ark forever. Oh boy, I still don't see that raven. He's been gone such a long time. I'm just beginning to worry. I don't think he's coming back. I mean, that raven was so awesome. I, I think if I had a sports team, I'd name it after the raven. He's a great bird and everything, but he just wasn't. He's just not coming back. I told him to go and try to find dry land, but he's not coming back. Well, maybe I'm going to have to send somebody else. I, I just hope the raven is okay. Nothing. Hmm. Who should I send? Oh, Bobo, um, you want to volunteer, huh? Well, that's, uh, that's very brave of you to, to volunteer, um, but I'm not sure if, if maybe you'd be the right one to go. I mean, uh, the bird can fly and, well, you know, uh, I'm just not sure. Uh, <laughs> he is not fat. He's, he's brave. And, and he's courageous, and he's, he's, he's awesome. That's what he is. But, uh, I mean, I see your point, Monkey. He, he might not be able to do as well as, as a bird might be able to do if it flew out there. I mean, Bobo, can you, can you really swim? I mean, I, it kind of feels to me like you might just sink. Yeah. Well... I understand, Bobo, and I, I'm, I'm sorry you're frustrated about it, but it, it seems to me that a better choice would be a dove. A dove? I mean, I think he'd like to go. Would you like to go, Mr. Dove? I'll tell you what. We'll let you help, okay, Bobo? So I'll put him on your head, and then you can help him launch so that he can go and find what we need to find, all right? So what we're going to do, Mr. Dove, is we're going to go fly and see if we can find some dry land and then maybe find something that, that will help us know you know uh, how well the dry land is doing okay good all right okay Bobo well you just help him to, to get started on his flight and then you know we'll all work together and and we'll get us uh, all of us on the ark to safety okay all right go Hmm, I don't see him yet. Well, friends, I sent that dove out, and uh, I was hoping he'd come back, uh, and he did after a little while, but then, you know, he was really tired, but at least I knew he understood what I was telling him. So I sent him out again, and when I sent him out again, and now it's been a little while, and I'm really hoping that he'll come back, because, you know, we're hoping that we can be sure that there's enough dry land that we can open up the ark and everyone can go out and oh oh I think I see him way far away here he comes I think he's got something in his beak I think he's got something like like maybe a twig or something oh I, this is great oh I was just hoping he would be able to do this oh boy oh the dove is okay wow okay all right come here come here over here Ah, so you made the great journey and you succeeded in your mission. This is wonderful. So you found an olive branch. So that means that the trees are outside of the water and then they're growing again and that means there'll be food for everybody out there. This is wonderful. So I think from now on, whenever we think of doves, we should think about peace because this dove showed that there was now peace between people and God. 
No longer would there have to be this wiping away of the world because of the sin that happened to it and the bad things and the people being mean to each other. And this olive branch, too. This olive branch can be a sign for us uh, that, that there's peace being made between people or between God and people. So these two can be signs for us forever that, that God and, and people can work together, that people and people can work together. These will be wonderful signs of peace. But I wonder, will it really be enough? I mean, I'm not perfect, and my family, we're not perfect either, so I just worry that we'll cause the same kind of problems or our children or our children's children that caused the world to get into such a mess in the first place. What we really need is someone to come who is perfect, who doesn't make mistakes, whose every action is guided by love. If we had that, someone like that, they could guide us. They could be a savior to the world. I think that would be just wonderful if we had a savior who would come into the world and could give us peace forever. Noah sent out a dove to see if it would be safe to come out. The dove brought back an olive twig. From then until now, the dove and the olive branch became symbols of peace wherever you see them. The world and God and people were at peace now. The scary long journey and being stuck inside the ark was over. Now it would be time to go out and explore the new world. If you didn't finish the mobile from yesterday, you could work on it some more. Now that you know, the dove means peace. Tomorrow, we'll learn what the rainbow means. You could also color some of the pages. We'd love to see your art. Send a picture of your pictures to M Keller, M-K-E-L-L-E-R, at timoniumumc.org, and we'll get it on our website and include it in our Vacation Bible School Sunday service.